What's up, man? 25 gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a quick video, a quick play you can add to your playbook if you're running the shotgun normal in New York giant slot trail play that I've talked about almost all season long. I'm looking to get back into this playbook. I feel like there's something there. Uh, unfortunately, I got really deep with Arizona's book and uh, really started to enjoy that playbook, but I'm strongly considering going back to the Giants because I feel like there's a little bit more versatility uh, if you can manage that responsibility. And what I mean by that is the Giants playbook has uh, very good plays, very good power plays, and sometimes you get caught up in running just the same play over and over again uh, because you you know that play is so good. And with Arizona, none of their Arizona plays are really, they're all, they're good in certain situations. You know, the zone of shallow is good for man beating, or the zone of post is good for beating man. The curl flats is good for beating a uh, zone. The halfback will is good for beating the blitz, but none of them really combine to just be an all-out great play like that slot trail does. But, uh, with that being said, I want to go ahead and hop into this uh, quick money play here. We're just going to show it to you against the two men under because that's the most common defense uh, in the game. So, uh, this play comes from the Shotgun Normal Wing New York, and the play is the, uh, let's find it here, the Giant Sail. Okay? And uh, we'll show you this real quick, but before we do that, I want to also quickly uh, draw your attention to the description. Um, I have some defensive tip videos in there for you to watch that you can check that out if you're looking to get better defensively in Madden 25. Alright, so with this play, we, as you saw, we like to motion that slot receiver across to the right side of the formation. Another thing we like to do is we like to drag the far right receiver across the middle uh, for a zone. He's our main zone read. Alright, so our first read here is going to be the halfback. When he cuts to the inside, he's going to do a good job against beating man as a quick pass. Uh, this also will be very good against most zone defenses that you'll face. Um, our second read is going to be the tight end. Uh, once we see the halfbacks covered by a user or something, we'll hit that tight end for a quick gain if it's there. And this is all about taking what the defense gives you. Obviously, if it's third and 20, you're not going to throw that zig. But you know, keeping the patterns and keeping the uh, thought process alive is essential for these, this offense to work properly. Um, our third read is going to be the drag. Uh, obviously, a pass lead up sometimes does a good job, but I wouldn't trust it against man. I would just go ahead and say... Um, you know, I'm going to just throw that against zone just because it can get a little dicey drag in this game or sometimes glitchy the way that they get open sometimes and sometimes they don't. Um, our next read is this, our main route is that route to Austin. As it cuts back across the middle of the field, does a very good job against beating man and it also does a really good job at beating zone defense. The cool part about this is when we're facing a standard two men under or something, the uh, Terrence Williams, that left side post is going get, to get pressed. This guy over here, Williams, he's going to get pressed. And that's going to give us better spacing for the time. And he's going to come underneath Miles Austin's post route, which does a really good job, uh, more specifically in zone defense, but also against man-to-man. -man. And if we have time in the pocket, when he cut, and obviously this is a this is a route that you're only going to go to if they're playing max coverage D. But we'll just show you just the route. We'll block our half back here. Wow, can't even get it off. But um, it's just a standard post route. It does a really good job at beating cover three. Um, and it also does a pretty good job getting against man, but it's it's hard to it's hard to get em enough time to do it. Um, and the reason is because of the improved pass rush. So uh, right here, I just want to show you that this route will beat man, but obviously, as you see, you're probably not going to have time to deliver that ball. So you want to make sure that you're hitting your three or four other man beaters we have on this play. Uh, this is for a max cover situation. Pass it to the inside, and you're going to click on him uh, and make a user catch. Alright guys, so that does it for today's video. If you want to check out the description, like I said, there will be some useful videos uh, and, and other notes in there that you can use to get better in Madden 25. And lastly, if you have any questions, problems, suggestions, or uh, anything at all you need to let me know that in, related, in relation to this video, then you can leave that in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching today's video, and I hope that you guys can come back for tomorrow for another Madden 25 tip.